here representing Metropolitan Historic Structures Association. Uh, the Four Bar Neighborhood Preservation Alliance covers Brooklyn, Queens, Staten Island, Bronx. But the issue that I wanted to address right now is the uh, position that is put forth by those who oppose us, and that is that they have the right to do whatever they want with their property. And my position is that is an outmoded notion that goes back several centuries when people lived on huge estates or large ranches of thousands of acres where their neighbors couldn't even be seen. When you're living in the city of New York, which is essentially an anthill, what your neighbor does affects you, and you have a right to speak out on it. Let's face it, when you bought your house, did you just buy the house, or did you look what was else on the block? Did you look to see where the stores, the churches, the schools were? What I'm saying is, we didn't just buy a house, we bought a neighborhood. And no one has a right to tamper with that neighborhood unless we all agree to it. And we're not agreeing to the degradation of our neighborhoods that were largely suburban style in their design, uh, homes largely designed by some noted architects, and now greedy developers coming in, putting in the most god-awful development that are degrading the quality of our life. We do have a right to speak out on it. That's, I, that's a right that we have to, uh, to maintain. So that's why we're here and we tend to press forth on these uh, uh, conceptual rezonings. Now we also have here the executive director of the Four Bar Never Preservation Alliance who will just say a few words. Yes, my name is Raul Rosslot, and I'm the Executive Director of the Four Borough Neighborhood Preservation Alliance. And I want to thank everybody in Queens to fight, uh, for, for fighting for an issue that really happens all over, all over New York. Everywhere, people's neighborhoods are getting, are disintegrating. And the people who know those neighborhoods, who know what's best for those neighborhoods, are not being listened to. And our city government is not only here to increase the profits of developers, it's also to make the city a livable place, a, a democratic city, a place where people can live. And we need to be respected in our viewpoints because we know what we're talking about. And so I want to thank everyone in Queens because the same issues are happening in Brooklyn, happening in, in Manhattan, happening in Staten Island, and happening in the Bronx. So thanks a lot and let's keep up the work.